You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. We're going to continue where we left off in Chloe Birchhardt's point of view. So, I hope you guys like it. Before Barnaby Brooks Jr. had to join Chloe's crew, at first when he got the message about Jennifer and Evermore and all the other worlds, he wasn't sure about taking this to heart. And Chloe had to do some begging. Oh, please, Barnaby, we could really use your help, she said. Chloe's crew was also pleading, but for, for two different sides were begging for different reasons. Say yes, say yes, say yes, Usopp prayed. Say yes, say yes, say yes, pleaded Chopper silently. Say no, say no, say no, say no, say no. Sanchi prayed silently, hoping he doesn't join. The others were waiting in anticipation. But Barnaby still wasn't sure what to think about this offer. That's when Chloe did something. Her eyes began to sparkle, as her eyes were really getting dark, but there was a few glimmers in them. Barnaby knew he couldn't turn this down. He sighed and he said, All right, all right. I'll join. Chloe's face broke into a grin. All of a sudden, the others of Chloe's crew began to cheer. Yeah! Index said, oh, this is great. This is wonderful, Levy said. All right, Jet and Joy said. <laughs> I knew he was going to say yes, said Gajil. <laughs> this should be interesting, said Gareki. Very, Kuro agreed. Oh, well, that's amazing. I'm glad he said yes, said Yukio. We could really use him. He's got maybe some great powers among him, Armin said. Usopp and Chopper were dancing around happily. He's joining, he's joining, ha 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 ha. Yay! Oh, yo, ho, ho, ho. How wonderful! He's joining the crew. How amazing is that? Brooke said. But Sanji was really upset. Oh no! Oh, just great! Now he's gonna steal all the women away from me! Sanji cried. Sanji didn't know, but Zoro was annoyed, but at the same time he was pretty happy, much to Sanji's dismay. However, Barnaby had a little bit of a smile on his face. I mean, how bad can these guys be? They're not bad, are they? Oh no, 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 no. They are really great. <laughs> Some of them are good. Some of them are pretty crazy, but they're all good. They're all great. I'm not sure if I'm going to get used to that. Oh, come on. You've, you've put up with Kotetsu before. I bet these guys will be different. Oh, yes! Chloe said with rejoice. But then when she realized she was doing, she managed to back away and made a <laughs> noise and tried her best to compose herself. Well then, you ready? Chloe said. Ready than ever, said Barnaby. Oh, yes! Woohoo! Come on, guys. I mean, guys, come on. Open the portal. Oh, right, right, Silas said. A portal? Oh, you'll see. Okay, here's our ride. Are you ready? Oh, this will be great. You can fly, can't you? The only question is, can you? Sure I can. Well, in that case, since we're going together, 
Suddenly, Barnaby swooped Chloe, and then Chloe couldn't believe it. Then she found herself being carried by Barnaby in his arms. Oh, uh, well, this is, uh, this is quite nice. <laughs> nice view. <laughs> okay. And off they went back to the agency of Evermore. Once they returned, they were greeted by the others, except for Sanji, who just sulked. Once introductions have made about, suddenly Armin couldn't help but notice that there were some sort of similarities going on between each member, that is. However, Sanji was really sulking. It was so bad. Index was giggling. <laughs> oh man, what's wrong with you, Saji? <laughs> you don't look so good. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Sorry. What's wrong with him? Barnaby said. This guy here going to steal all the women away from me. If you think that your good looks and all of your personality is going to win the women's heart, then prepare to meet your rival, mister. Sanji cried out. Chloe begins to laugh. <laughs> I don't mind him. Sorry, he's just jealous because, you know, he's not really that handsome, but you know. <laughs> what? I thought you said I looked handsome. Excuse me. I was just trying to make you feel better. Now, shut up and make us something, okay? But, but, come on. This guy needs a break, okay? <laughs> Fine. Let me see how this is gonna be. <laughs> Sorry, he's just a little crazy. <laughs> Chloe assured him. Barnaby looks at him. Is he always this upset? Oh, no, he's just jealous of you. Oh, really? I bet he's pretty jealous that I'm in all the magazine covers and everything else. I bet hundreds of women would fall for me. Uh, will you shut up? <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, I wouldn't fall for that pretty face if I was a girl. I would fall for him better than you. Why, well, I ought to... Ah, 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 ah. No arguments. Come on. Enough. Silas came in, and he was busy, and he seemed a bit nervous. But he decided not to speak about what he was nervous about. Then he said, Hey, Chloe. Yeah? Chloe asked, Do you think Barnaby could be like some sort of combination of some teammates here? Silas asked, I've noticed that too, Armin said shyly. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Well, um... I think Barnaby, to me, is kind of a combination of Armin, and Yukio, and Gareki, Silas said. Barnaby looked at each of the three. Me? Like them? I don't know about that. You're going to compare that guy to me? Gareki scoffed. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, I think Silas has a point. I mean, Gareki has a pretty much of a troubled past. Yukio wears glasses. And Armin, on the other hand, is pretty much good-looking blonde hair, but he's pretty smart, just like Barnaby. I wouldn't say that. I mean, uh, you know, I've never been in history before or on those covers like you have, 
sorry, I just, I never see myself as good looking or I just feel like I'm putting myself down for some reason. But there's nothing good about me, not when it comes to war, not when it comes from where I come from, terror and sorrow. Armin said. Chloe put a hand on his shoulder. Armin, relax. You're right. I'm sorry. I just got too emotional. Forgive me, I've been through a lot lately today. He said. You have no idea. For me. Barnaby said, losing my parents was the worst thing, but also at the same time, my memories were, yeah, screwed up. Chloe finished, all because of that bastard. Wait, did he kill him? No. He didn't. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting a bit personal. I was just trying to make you feel better. No, I'm sorry. I just got a few emotional. I just, I don't think I'm anything like you. <sighs> well, she tells me here that you're pretty smart. Barnaby said. What? She tells me that you're one of the best strategists on this team. Is that true? Yeah, I, I come up with these plans just to help people out. Do they work? Barnaby asked. Yes. Back in my world, before I joined um, the team known as the Scouts, I was known for my brains. Not really much of my strength. You, on the other hand, you must be pretty physically uh, fit and very um, different from all the rest. I don't think I can ever compete with that, being smart, being strong. But I have gotten better, so sorry, Armin said. I see. You know, one of these days, maybe I can see more of that strategy of yours. Whatever you have, I'm sure maybe you can help us out. Oh, yes. I would do that. Thank you, Armin said. Okay. Dante, is it ready? Chloe called out. Not even a bit. So shut up and wait. Ah, somebody's crap. Um, can you come with me for a second, Chloe? What's wrong? Just come here. Silas led Chloe away. Then all of a sudden he opened the door, turned on the light, and pointed in. When Chloe saw what she saw, she was so horrified that she began to scream. Everyone heard and managed to rush to her side. What they saw was something gruesome in there. A dismembered horse and its blood all around. Chloe continued to scream and scream and scream until Barnaby grabbed her by the shoulders. Hey, take it easy, take it easy, he said. <sighs> after me she said who is you gotta tell me what's the matter Barnaby said stay away stay away she didn't know but it was Daphnis he was on to her he was gonna find her and this wouldn't be a good thing thank you for listening and watching see you next time